you guys out there how are you i hope you're all keeping well my name is joni and this is my channel joni loves please hit the subscribe button that would be cool and the notification button so what i want to chat to you tonight about is skincare by hiram hiram is a young man on youtube who is amazing at describing skincare ingredients and what they do their benefits for skin he talks about lots of different ingredients all the time and he also he likes to slag off what people do on their skin <laughs> so i am going to have fun watching what hiram does to his skin at night so this is the harper's bazaar go to bed with me series and hiram is going to tell us what his nighttime skin care routine i'm very excited about this one because a bit like me hiram likes vegan cruelty free fragrance free all of that kind of feel to it and that really sits really well with me so i'm excited to see what he uses it how he applies his creams and what i think of the lotions and potions that he's going to apply so let's have a look at Hiram and we'll see what he's doing <sighs> okay i am not a pretty sight when i wash my face i look like a fish gasping for air or gasping for water they don't gasp for air they're underwater gasping for water <laughs> I am so excited to be able to show you my skincare routine because I am usually used to reacting to skincare routines. I'm not used to showing other people my skincare routine. And especially because it's switching so often, I feel like there's no sense of normalcy. But now I'm excited to reveal it to you guys because so many of you have been asking and yeah, this is just going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Also, I hope that you can appreciate that I'm wearing a robe because it's low key 85 degrees and I'm actually pretty hot. But you know what? I wanted to stick with wearing a robe because it's a go to bed with me. I don't get this chance every day. <laughs> um, you are also joined with me in my room, not my bathroom, because my bathroom is the size of a shoebox, and I figured that you probably don't want to be seeing up my nostrils my entire skincare routine. So we're here instead, so I may have to run in and out to wash my face. <laughs> I'm going to be using in total one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight products with one skincare tool. So nine products all together. I'm really excited to go through them because these are some new goodies that I found that I haven't shared with many people. So first thing I do is I use a cleansing balm. I'm specifically using the Then I Met You Living Cleansing Balm. I like this one because, well, I like cleansing balms in general because they're a great way of just dissolving the sunscreen and excess oil and dirt buildup that has accumulated throughout the day off of your skin. Um, cleansing oils are nice, but sometimes they can be a little bit messy, which is why I like cleansing balms. But typically I don't go for a lot of cleansing balms because they have an ingredient called polyethylene, which is plastic. And I kind of don't want to be putting plastic on my face and having it go down the drain. And this one is polyethylene free, which is why I really like it. So I usually just take a little bit. There's some skincare ASMR. Woo! <laughs> this stuff is like a mango smoothie on the skin. I love applying it because it applies so smoothly and it's formulated with a lot of rich hydrating oils that are really great for nourishing the skin, which I think is awesome because the cleansing system can usually be a little bit stripping to the skin. And a lot of people don't realize that cleansing can be the most damaging part of the skincare routine if we're not careful. And I really like that this one is formulated with so many oils to just really soften and nourish my skin. It does have fragrance and anyone who watches my channel knows that I do not like fragrance, but I'm okay with it in a wash off treatment. So in my wash off treatments is when I get to splurge a little bit because it's not gonna be on my face very long. It's gonna be on there for like a maximum of 30 seconds before I rinse it off. So I'm not really gonna see any sensitivities or risks associated with fragrance. I make sure to get on my under eye area so I don't forget there. And just gently working into the skin everywhere. I always used to think cleansing oils and cleansing balms were for people who wore makeup every day, but I actually think they should be used by everyone uh, because sunscreen is a tricky little thing to get off your skin. And especially with the amount of sunscreen I wear, which is, hint, a lot, <laughs> a lot every single day, I'm like anal about making sure I avoid the sun as much as possible. A cleansing balm is definitely smart for me. And then after I make sure I've gotten every part of my skin, I just rinse it off with water and then immediately go in with my cleanser, which I just do all in one swoop. My favorite. Hmm. So that was interesting. Fragrance in that cleansing balm. That, that goes against a lot of your thinking, Hiram, and mine. However, um, cleansing balms, I think they are good to try. I do. I am not against them. This one, living, then I met you living 
cleansing balm is Korean. So it's, you know, really the Koreans are really in the forefront for their skincare routines and their skincare manufacturing, I should say. It's expensive though, it's 29 quid for just over three ounces. So just over that amount there, and it's, you know, this size here, and it's 29 pounds. That, that's quite a lot for three ounces. I was looking to see if, in fact, it's half of that bottle. Half of that bottle is three ounces and that's 29. That's expensive. The other thing I don't like about it is, apart from being a bit expensive for three ounces, is that it's in the jar. I don't really like jars, you know, simply because when you open that lid, as you can see, you have to do it, and then you scoop in with that scooper. Well, the first thing is the air is going to get at it, so that renders the actives inactive. <laughs> it lets the air get into the product. I'm not really keen on that. However, you need to be quick with those jars, you know, screw the lid back on. It has got good things I get for it, no parabens, you know, that's what I like. Vegan, it's cruelty free, it's got olive oil, grape seed oil, my goodness, and seed buckthorn oil. Mm, that is all really great stuff for hydrating, antioxidants. And the main thing is, it really is strengthening the skin cells. Um, grape seed oil is great for that because of the vanillic acid that it has it's vital to the skin cell membrane but he's really chatting about his protective barrier I feel when he's talking about I think he's mentioned this before this really is a cleansing balm for dry skins 100% for people who've got dry skin so great if you've got eczema prone to eczema that kind of or very irritable sensitized skin this is the one that you would that would, you would try it's also got this um, persimmon extract which is it prevents premature aging and photo damage and it's supposed to reduce hyperpigmentation so there is good ingredients in this cleansing balm there is huh and it should help to even if you've got acne um this wouldn't aggravate acne this this one no so i do think it's a good one to try if you're into that he says he washes it off so he doesn't he applies it and i love the way he applied this did you see how good he was he was so gentle with his skin 10 out of 10 guy 10 out of 10 so i loved how he was so good at that you know i really like that and he's going to wash it off so that's my opinions about clean cleaving uh, cleansing balm so having to think about it um i'm not saying not try them try them i don't think you could use them to take eye makeup off this is the thing he's not wearing eye makeup so this is the only issue i've got you would have to use a separate eye makeup remover um, you couldn't use that cleansing balm over the eyes. No, I wouldn't be advocating that. So next step. Under cleanser, the one that I have to use all the time, otherwise my skin freaks out, is the Use to the People Kale and Green Tea Spinach Cleanser. This one, I don't know why my skin gets so upset every time I discontinue using this for my routine. I'll try to experiment with new cleansers and my skin's like, what the heck, bro? Why did you do that? So this one is a pretty integral part of my routine. I also really like it because I have combination to more oily skin and being that it is summer right now in Hawaii and it's very humid, of course, I tend to be really, really oily. So I need a cleanser that's going to deeply cleanse my skin, get everything out of my pores to make sure that they're not clogged. They're not going to accumulate dead skin cells and dirt over time. And this one does a great job of doing that. But my skin doesn't feel overly stripped afterwards, which is tricky to find because some cleansers I find work so well that afterwards my skin is like <sighs> gasping for water. It's like the Sahara Desert skin. So I'm gonna rinse off and start applying this. So usually I take about a full pump and it's just gently massage it into my skin. Last time I did this on video, um, my eyes ended up burning so badly because I'm not used to having my eyes open while cleansing my skin and my eyes are very, very, very sensitive. So, I'm gonna be very careful, maybe close my eyes for this. I found that sometimes this cleanser can be a little bit too harsh during the winter time because during the winter my, ten my skin tends to dry out a lot more, especially in the cheek area, it gets really, really dry. And anytime I travel to the mainland, whoo, my skin gets so, so, so dry. I actually used to struggle with eczema a lot. Thankfully I don't anymore, being in a more humid environment, but yeah, this cleanser really only works for when it's particularly humid and my skin is being extra oily. Okay, once I feel that my skin is clean enough, I go over to the bathroom. I'm still not opening my eyes and this is going to be a struggle trying to walk to the sink <laughs> to wash my face off. But, you know, I'm going to do my best. Wish me luck. 
Wow, I made it over to the bathroom with my eyes closed and I did not spill on my shirt. Cha cha! I don't always win that battle, but today I did, I guess. Woo! Also, if you notice that my skin is a little bit red, I have reactive skin. I don't have sensitive skin. My skin can actually handle a lot of products, ingredients, testing, etc., etc., but it is reactive. If the wind blows, my skin's like pff, inflammation instantly. Next, I go in with a new step that I haven't been using for very long. It's the Instree. Right, so. This is interesting. So the first one he's using, the cleansing balm, is for really nourishing dry skin. It's hydrating, super hydrating. Then he goes in with the Youth to the People cleanser, which um, to me it's, it's still great because it's got kale, spinach, green tea, anti-inflammatory, packed with essential fatty acids. It's got spinach, for heaven's sake, kale. So it sounds great, doesn't it? It sounds like you want to, I mean, he obviously likes it because it was nearly empty, that bottle. It's also vegan. I like it because it's got also, I love this recyclable recyclable packaging and I think that is the way to go. So 10 out of 10 to that company, Youth to the People. Mm -hmm. And no parabens, no animal testing. Love it. 27 quid for eight ounces. It's an okay price. I think that's okay. I do. Um, he's talking about that it's for combination skin oily. So I think it's interesting because he's using that. And he's using one for oily, uh, dry skins before it. It's a bit of a, you know, one's for really dry skin and one's for combination oily. He's using the two. But it's interesting that he's doing that because he obviously really is worried about this protective barrier of his, I think. He doesn't want anything to affect this outside layer that we all have made up of your own um, moisturising and minerals on your own skin from your own sebum. Um, so he's really protective of that. It's probably because he did did tell you that he suffered from eczema and I think that's why because people who get eczema have got a compromised skin barrier. So he is definitely a little bit scared of drying his skin out and he said he's prone to dry cheeks but also we've got to remember Hiram lives in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Hawaii! <laughs> How lucky is he? How lucky is he? So that definitely has an inf no, uh, where where you live in the world has a an impact on your skin type and how your skin's going to be mostly your skin condition. So that's obviously what's making his skin a bit more oily because he's living in Hawaii. But when he goes to the mainland, things change. Mm -hmm. And you have to think about that. That is really good to think about where you live and how it impacts on your skin and give you an idea of what products to really look for because we can all have dry skin at some point, we can all have oily skin and breakouts at some point. So it's just very much, where do you live? Looking for the ingredients and having an idea what you should look for. So I like those two products, the two first products. I thought they were good because it's all this vegan way and protecting the skin barrier, which I'm all for, that shield. So what's it going in with next? It's interesting though, a cleansing balm, then a cleanser. That's a double cleanse, that's a double cleanse. You know what I've said to you about double cleanse? Uh-huh. So I like it. I like it. Green tea fresh toner. Now, normally I'm not a big toner person because I don't really feel that they're necessary to a skincare routine, but this product, the first ingredient is green tea extract. The first ingredient. And it's like super affordable. And normally products with that high of a concentration of green tea, heck, even less of a concentration of green tea are super, super expensive. So I was pleasantly surprised to find this. And I also don't use a cotton pad. I just put it in my palms and pat it into my skin. You know, it's funny, my nighttime routine was not always this um, complete. I used to be extremely bad at doing a nighttime routine, but once I figured out to put like my nighttime skincare right next to my bed and have a micellar water there to just like do my entire skincare routine while laying down, I slowly started getting into a nighttime skincare routine until, you know, now, which I'm like fully addicted. But for anyone out there who is struggling to keep up with a consistent nighttime routine, I'm always recommending that because it definitely helped my skin. I also really like using the ingredient green tea because... Mm, so, first of all, I, he's still using micellar water. It doesn't work, but that's another video and another chat. Um, the green tea fresh toner. I do not believe you need a toner if you've got a good cleanser. So I think that he's also talking... This funny thing is, now I'm going to get at him, now hire him. He has also said that he doesn't believe toners are, he thinks are a waste of money and they are a waste of money if you've got a good cleanser, right? I've talked about this before, but toners are simply 
Um, they've evolved a little bit, but really we don't need them because the cleansers used to be leave a sticky, a sticky residue on your on your skin. Now that doesn't happen. And that's the reason why we used to use toners was to take off the excess cleanser. Mm -hmm. But he's using it a different way there, isn't he? Which is interesting. He's used it really, he's almost thinking that it's an antioxidant hydrating feeling of putting it on. Um, so he's using it in an, in an interesting way, I think. A bit like a, a serum. <laughs> I think he's using it like a serum, but hey, it's 18 quid for 200 mil, an okay price. It's for combination oily skins. Green tea, we know green tea. It's it's, it's fantastic because it's an an, super antioxidant, um, but controls excess oil and brightens the skin and protects that skin barrier. It's all about the skin barrier with him, I think. Yeah, it is. So let's look at the next bit. This is great for soothing inflammation and redness. It also may have some anti-aging benefits. It's just overall a really good skin healing agent that I really like to use. So after that step, I make sure my skin is completely dry before I go in with the next one. And that's important because the next product I use is from Verst. It's the Pressed Restart Gentle Retinol Serum. Retinol is one of my favorite ingredients for just repairing so much damage within the skin. It's so well researched. There's so many benefits to it. And I think it's a must, especially considering like how much sun exposure I get here and just the stressors and the fact that I do age so quickly, retinol is a must step in my skincare routine. For a few months I went off of retinol and I've been slowly like making my way back into it and this one's a more gentle formula so it's better and more ideal to make sure that like my skin doesn't you know freak out when I start to use it. And I've been using it for a couple weeks and so far I've been really enjoying the experience. It's funny though, so many people are like, oh my gosh, you can't use retinol, you're too young to use retinol, et cetera, et cetera. And I think what a lot of people don't realize is that the reason I started my skincare YouTube channel is because of aging that I was seeing in my skin. I had wrinkles all over my face, deep set one on my forehead, underneath my eyes. And before that, I never really thought anything of skincare. I thought it was just something like, older ladies used because they wanted to feel fancy. <laughs> but as soon as I started using skincare and I started incorporating exfoliants into my skincare routine and retinol, I quickly realized that it was actually effective because the wrinkles in my face were going away. And now thankfully I've managed to, you know, keep them at bay for some time. We'll see how long that lasts. I'm very expressive and I'm white, so I age like a raisin. <laughs> So I just took two pumps of that and applied it into my skin. One of the reasons I like that one is because retinol typically usually comes in very thick, heavy creams. And I wanna be able to utilize retinol, but also be able to apply other products on top of it afterwards. This one is a must in my skincare routine, the Great Barrier Relief from Crave Beauty. When I first- So really interesting. Now he's saying that he's he had lots of lines and wrinkles. I don't believe that. <laughs> I would need to see proof of that. Come on, hide them. But I thought it was really good and I do love this product. I'm looking at it. Versed Press Restart. I love that name. Press Restart. I love it. Gentle Retinal Serum. Mm -hmm. I think this is maybe going to be the winner in this one. I do. I do. So I really like it very much and it's quite reasonable. £17 for 30 mil. I think that's quite a reasonable price. I do. Um, you only need a, lot, a little bit of retinol, always remember that, you don't need a lot, but this is really good because it's for sensitive skins because it's encapsulated retinol and that's what the difference is and encapsulated means it comes in a little, um, if you think, a little bag of moisturisers around it, okay, protecting it and also it will go into the skin in a time released way. So this is really, this is a nice one. I also thought it was interesting because it's got natural re retinal alternatives, Arfofrida and Bacutuol. Now I've, I've talked about Bacutuol before, um, so we know that one is really popular in ingredient, but these are two natural retinal alternatives plus encapsulated retinol. This is a good product, I think. Ah, oh, this is a good product. Yes. Now, one of the things he said there, he used it because he had all these lines and wrinkles. Mm -hmm. Not sure if that, if that's the truth, but he might have felt that. Mm -hmm. So yes, it's going to absolutely work from the outside in and get that dead skin renewing and the dead skin coming off and the new skin coming through. So it will freshen the skin in really, really well. It makes skin healthy. It also normalizes the oil production which I thought is maybe the reason why maybe he had a bit of acne when he was younger as well. 
who knows but I do think that this is one of the things that people need to know you don't need to be an older lady to use retinol no because retinol was actually um, made originally for people with acne yes it was originally manufactured retinol for people with acne oily skins mm -hmm. so and I still recommend it for someone with an oily acne skin so it does a number of things and it's mainly because it helps to unblock the skin kicking off those dead skin cells normalizing the oil production making skin much healthier so I think this is a great product from to, to look to use what I liked as well is he said he let everything dry and then he puts this onto a dry skin that was 10 out of 10 again for that now he's going to talk about something he puts on top and this is what I've got to say with this retinol that he's using mm -hmm, because it's encapsulated and it's got moisturizers with it I don't think he needs to put something on top of this but this is all smacking from this compromised skin barrier that he he obviously obviously feels he's got so but I do like this burst press restart gentle retinal serum I think that was a goodie I do so that's what I, I'm really liking this he's picked such interesting products and I like that they're all cruelty free vegan and all oh it's so good so good I love this I do first found this product didn't it was I was in such a dark place I don't know where I was before this this like saved my skin <laughs> which sounds dramatic but hello that's me. <laughs> this one I specifically love because what it focuses on is helping to repair the skin's moisture barrier. And I think what we don't realize is that we tend to just pummel our skin with so many treatments, at least I do. So that sometimes I forget that, you know, the health of the skin is just as important as seeing results. And those two things are not interchangeable. Your skin can be, you know, seeing really good results in terms of like exfoliation and retinol, but not be adequately healthy. And this is a great product for just making sure that my moisture barrier is as strong as possible and when I started using this product I immediately noticed that the redness in my face was gone my skin was more hydrated I didn't need to you know uh, worry about as much excessive oiliness throughout the day because it's formulated with niacinamide it has tamanu oil so I started noticing like a brightness and getting rid of dark spots and sunspots on my face just so many different benefits that I started noticing from this product so after I apply that product, I go in with a final moisturizer because this alone, it, it can be used as a moisturizer. Right. Crave Beauty Great Buy Relief. Another great name. I do like this very much too. This might be my second product that he's using I really like. Um, £40 for 45ml. Again, it's for this damaged skin barrier. He's obviously paranoid about the skin barrier. <laughs> yes, he is. Yes, he is. Um, while evening out your complexion, it's for really anyone who's got a sensitized skin, Crave Beauty, Great Barrier Relief, it's for them. So if you've got, if you're sensitized to anything, if you've overstripped your skin by using harsh acne products, if you have overwashed your skin and you've made it really dehydrated, very dehydrated, this is definitely for you, this, this um, moisturizer. Basically, this tamanu oil that he's talking about i know that he said that it gets rid of the dark spots that hasn't been clinically proven but i know that people do believe that so there's just no evidence about that but it's got sin skin regenerative properties and it is a healer it definitely is a healer and it's you know gives the skin lipids so again this is really good tamanu oil safflower oil rosehip seed oil i love rosehip seed oil skin nourishing again and help restore that skin barrier and ceramides in it which is you know fantastic all mimic a healthy skin barrier to make his skin not you know be absolutely healthy and this is what he's talking about if your skin barrier is healthy then you've got healthy skin mm -hmm. the niacinamide aka vitamin b3 um again is for barrier repairing anti-aging skin brightening and even acne prevention so that is a great product that's two really good products here that are and a bit of a wow for me they are they are so he's good isn't he Hiram he really is I just love him he's so dramatic what a what a guy what a guy and I have to say you know I love the way he applies products I do he's very gentle I love that about him 
um, and his skin looks great to me. I'm looking at his skin. The only thing he said there is he's, he's using different products all the time. That's the only thing I would say. Hi, I'm, don't do that. You know, that's bad for your skin to keep chopping and changing. That is bad. That puts skin under a bit of stress. So that I don't, I'm not sure that I would agree with him keeping chopping and changing because he's got to try stuff. You know, get a guinea pig to try things, Hiram. Have a look and see how you can, a good pal that you can ask. Try this and give, get feedback. Don't always do it yourself. But I would say it doesn't have enough inclusive agents to really form the protective seal to prevent me from losing water through my skin overnight. If you know that process, it's called transepidermal water loss. I'm constantly talking about it. Um, but I just want to always make sure that I have a final seal to prevent any of that water loss. But I don't like going in with really heavy creams after doing this many products, which is why... I have been absolutely loving the Rovectin Clean Water Cream. It comes with little stickers that you can put on the bottle, so I customize my own. It's cute. This one I love because it's formulated with a crazy high concentration of lotus, which is great for, you know, reducing sensitivity and irritation in the face and also for, you know, potentially being anti-aging and antioxidant properties. But I specifically love this one because it's a very lightweight water cream, so it absorbs into the skin so quickly and does not feel heavy. I've actually been really liking using this one during the day because I can ensure that it will not make my skin look really oily or greasy, something that's really important to me, particularly during the summer. I always make sure I apply on the neck. Funny enough, dragging upwards on my neck actually creates a lot of redness and irritation, so I usually just pat it into my neck. And what I also do with my moisturizer is I always make sure to pat it into my skin afterwards because I, I don't know why, maybe this is true, maybe it's not true, but I feel like my products absorb so much better once I pat it into my skin. And I don't know if that's because it's actually being absorbed by the skin more or if it's just being absorbed by my fingers more. I have no idea. Let me know down below because I would love to know the you know scientific explanation behind that. As some of you may notice, most of these products are actually Korean and that's because I love Korean skincare. I just feel like it encapsulates so much of just the modern, innovative, perspective that Korean skincare technology can bring and just incredible ingredients and formulas, just everything that I love about skincare in non-irritating formulas. One thing that's very prevalent on my channel in terms of messaging is going towards skincare that's not going to irritate your skin but contribute to the health of your skin. And that's something that I definitely try to focus on within my own skincare routine. You know, sometimes I wish I could just be like a model when I apply my skincare routine, like so that's really interesting <laughs> another moisturizer um i thought it was funny that he's he's thinking that he's he's losing water during the night you know transepidermal water loss um really occurs when you have got that barrier compromised and if you think about little tears in the skin surface and you know it's opening little openings and the water comes out you're losing your own moisture content because putting all the things on it before that he's done, I don't see that happening. So it's funny how he, he feels he's got to put another moisturiser on, even although it's light, to stop that occurring. I'm, I'm not sure whether he's <laughs> he's putting a bit much on. Just saying, just saying hi, I'm just putting a bit much on. Um, the Lotus Cream, um, yeah, Lotus is known for, Lotus Seed Extracts known to be a skin soothing antioxidant or oh, hard that is absolutely and protects the skin barrier yeah mm -hmm. prevents dryness and dehydration and all of that it's also got a quaxel in it which is a really good a quaxel is really good because it restructures strengthens the stratum corneum and um, boosts all the the skin hydration elements it's really good and also is a skin smoother and it strengthens everything so a quaxel is a great ingredient in there it's also vegan cruelty free i love all that about it 14 pound 50 for 60 mil and um, i just think it's a it's a bit it's a lot he's put on he's put on the retinol which is also is moisturizing then he's put on the crave beauty great barrier relief then this on top is it a bit much? Yeah, I think it is a bit much. I think it is. But maybe he's want to show um, the, all these products. It's interesting because I know that he really believes in a simple skincare routine. I know he has, he has said that on his channel. So I think that's funny how he's putting all these products on. I do. Um, I wonder if I could get a hold of him and say, why did you do all that? Hi, um, anyway, this is the next bit. 
but no, it's like World War III over here on my face. I've gotten better. I've gotten a lot better. <laughs> I used to be like man handling my face when I applied my skincare routine. Now I'm much more gentle, but that doesn't mean it's beautiful. So I apologize to anyone who's watching. <laughs> All right, once I pat that into my skin, I go in with lips next because my lips tend to get really dry and I think overnight is a great time for me to just make sure I'm really moisturizing my lips so I don't have to apply a lip balm as much throughout the day. The one that I've been really loving is the Milk Makeup Melatonin Lip Mask. I think there's a lot of like underrated benefits to melatonin in skincare and I specifically like this one because it's very thick, it's very hydrating and it's gonna make sure that I do not wake up with dry lips. The only thing I don't like about this one is that it is formulated with lavender oil. So, you know, to me that I would consider that fragrance, but with lip products, it's so hard to find fragrance free formulas that are actually really effective at, you know, keeping the skin moist overnight. And this one works really well. Okay. And then for the final step, I go in with a skincare tool that I actually have not talked about on my channel before. So I'm so excited to pre hmm. I think we'll rewind a little bit to say he keeps, you know, he was patting in his moisturiser or the last one, the Lotus Water Cream, saying that he presses it in. Yes, I do think doing that, putting it in and pressing on is great. And I liked how he mentioned neck. I would also bring it down here, but I can't because he's got a t-shirt on, I think. Um, I think he must be really hot though because his skin is oiling up big time. So the, and he's in Hawaii, so that really, he must be roasting. <laughs> poor soul, poor Hiram, that you had to wear that. Pity you couldn't have just had a nice um, thin um, overcoat on, or house coat as we call them here. Anyway, um, it's nothing to do with patting it in and how you do it. Yes, be gentle. Yes, I think it's good to pat in. I like the way it applies things, but it's all to do with the formulations. 100% how cream is formulated is how it's going to absorb into the skin and if you're using the right weight so if you've got that sounds funny saying that but if you've got the right weight if you've got an oily skin you use lightweight products and he's talking about the lotus water cream is quite light so that sounds fine and if you've got a dry really dry dehydrated type of skin you're using a little heavier weight creams on you mm -hmm. so or double apply your light moisturizer however it is mainly the the formulations if a cream's going to absorb well yes so that's one thing um the lip mask what do i think about it wearing a lip mask he said that he is worried about getting dehydrated looks i have to say or he's prone to dehydrated looks i think he might be dehydrated because he's not drinking enough water water so I would be saying always remember that if you've got if you're prone to dry lips up the water intake and see what happens because mm -hmm, it can be a sign that you're dehydrated definitely and I do like moisturizers that contain hyaluronic acid and when you put them on hyaluronic acid being a natural humectant when you put that onto the lips that helps it as well so I do think that um, and it's got this mask, interestingly enough, it's got hyaluronic acid in it. So that's going to help, that hyaluronic acid is going to help plump those lips up, definitely. Um, he's talking about the melatonin, the topical melatonin is in this. And I think that that's, you know, I do think that melatonin is a great supplement for people to take. I do, mm -hmm, I do. And it's, you know, does it work with skincare? It's getting more popular. I do think it's a natural hormone. Um, there isn't specific research showing that it helps dry lips, but it says it is pretty much a skin antioxidant and also inflammation reducing. So um, I'm not against it being this product. It's actually called Milk Makeup Melatonin Overnight Lip Mask. It's £20 though for a little 8ml. So it's not, a cheap, it's not a cheap lip mask. No, it's not. And it's for keeping lips soft and smooth overnight. But it's got hyaluronic acid and Persian silk tree extract which is great I've always liked that Persian silk tree extract what I don't like is it's in a jar again I wish they would think of other ways to put things like that not in jars where you're opening the lid and it's getting 
oxidised, but it's got fragrant lavender oil. And I'm going to tell you, I've told you before, lavender oil is one of the ingredients that will sensitise skin. I think that's funny that this is in a lip mask as well. I don't like that bit. So I'm not going to say that's a great product. That's a bit expensive as well. Uh -huh. And, you know, I would, I would be telling him if I can get his email address, I would say, Hiram, or I may be putting it in his comments below. Hiram, why don't you think about drinking more water? See if that affects the dryness of the lips and so on. Um, see what's happening. So here we go. It's really good. This I really think is very interesting. And he really does know a lot about skincare. And I agree with him about the Korean skincare industry. It is really spot on, trend, everything. My skincare routine is actually a cooling globe and it would be cooling globes plural if i hadn't have broken the other one and leaked out everywhere and got onto my carpet and stained it so love that <laughs> but you know i just have one for now but it's okay it's the same tool it just takes you know double the time but it's still so nice i love using this both at nighttime or in the morning specifically in the morning on the under eye area because it really de-puffs the face but overall i just like it because Typically with a lot of these like cooling tools that I've used in the past, sometimes they create such a heavy layer of like condensation on the outside that it almost feels like you're just kind of smothering water all over your face. And it feels like it's almost breaking up the skincare formula. But this one, I never noticed that. It really glides across the skin, helps to, you know, further push your skincare products into your skin without like leaving traces of water across the surface of your skin. And I always just leave this in the fridge overnight. And I always try to move it upwards in a lifting motion because there's really no reason to be dragging downwards. Like your skin does not. Mm. So I thought that was really good. That is, I think we'll, we'll have a finish there about it. But Sephora fa Facial Cooling Globes, 20 pounds. I did like that. I thought it was quite um, interesting that it uses that last to, it keeps, people say such marketing BS about these kind of things. Nothing pushes in products to your skin. It is all to do with the formulation. Why they say this about it pushes the products in, it's just because they've read that and that's a selling marketing sentence given by all of these tools. I do think these tools are good. I think this one, I liked how he said he kept it in the fridge because definitely in the morning, if you get any puffiness and you use that, that will take the puffiness under the eyes away or in the face. I thought it was quite easy and I thought it was a good price point, quite easy to use. Mm -hmm. So let's just finish off. But interesting, Sephora Facial Cooling Globes, £20. Like that, it does not need more gravitational pull. No sir, not today. Ugh, normally when I have two, I do it so pretty. I'm not like Mr. Like T-Rex claws trying to push it all over my face. Normally it's very like visually aesthetic, but alas, the second one broke. But thankfully these ones are actually really affordable. I got this from Sephora and I think they were like 20 bucks. So not bad. We stan affordability. And I like to go on the neck as well and just push upwards. And this is just such a nice step just to like, ah, calm down, you know, focus on just like self care time. I think sometimes even with me, I tend to be so rushed in my life that I, you know, really rush through my skincare routine and using this is kind of a moment for me to just reflect and, you know, think about the self-care part of skincare and have like a little bit of a meditative moment. I know I'm definitely guilty of looking at skincare from a utility standpoint to where I'm like, I have this problem, how do I fix it? Let me use that as fast as possible. And that's not usually the best way to go about using skincare. I think self-care and indulgence and meditation is just as important for a skincare routine as is utility and repairing a problem within the skin. And I think tapping into both of those is where you can really find a passion for skincare. That's definitely what turned it from just an interest into a passion for me. And also just being able to feel so good about yourself once you start seeing good results within your skin, I think is so powerful. And that's one thing on my channel that I think brings me the most joy, true, true joy is seeing how people's skin has improved per recommendation of other creators or me. Um, so I thought that was really interesting what he said at the end. I, I, did, I did like that. He's talking about self-care and that's how you need to think about it and I 100% agree with that. 
when you have your skincare routine set out, it should be your time. You should be doing it in a relaxed manner. Um, it is your me time. Mm -hmm. So taking time to do that at night is really the way forward. We don't have a lot of time in the morning, do we? But at night time, make sure you've got that time. So you can either do that, your, your nighttime skincare routine. You could do that when you come home from work, if that's an easy time or just after dinner. You don't need to leave it till you're really tired at night. I'm not sure I would advise keeping the products you're going to use on your bedside table. Um, I'm not sure that's, you know, the way to think about it. But if you have to do that um, in, in your bathroom, <laughs> would be a better, would be my choice. Yeah, especially because I want to see a mirror. Uh -huh. A times five magnifying one. Mm -hmm. So looking at Hiram, I think he has came up with some really, really great products there. I think that he's definitely added a couple of steps in, perhaps, for this video. I think he has got a great knowledge. Um, love him, he's really great and he's very dramatic when you watch him on YouTube. So I would definitely advise you to go and like his um, YouTube and subscribe to him. He is really good at, on his channel. And what I want to say is, what you've learned from this is, people all over the world are really all about protecting this outside barrier no matter where they live so I think that was a good point to bring up tonight to keep thinking about this and so that you don't get any infection or bacterial infections coming into the skin always think about that that you want to really keep this outside barrier strong and that just means that you don't let your skin dry out or get too dry dehydrated or cracked on the surface no and make sure that your own moisture levels really coming out really well so you know it's all about skin health definitely about skin health i hope that was interesting for you i thought it was great to watch Hiram, and i hope you learned something from it i did i got to know two really good products that i'm going to look at yes i will and remember if you've got any comments or if you tried any of these products yourself put in the comments below i'd like to hear about any of these products that have been used by someone else i i would so have a fantastic week and take care of yourself okay thank you for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button bye bye <laughs>